It's early in the morning. We're at the event already. Jimbo's in here taking a smedley. Let's see if we can get him. What's up guys, here at the Jimbo Fishing Seminar, and it's really slow right now because no one's really coming in. We're all setting up, we're still like an hour before everybody gets here, so um, right here I got everything set up. I got the hats, got the sweatshirts, the t-shirts, the who rags, and the new beanies um, for you guys that um, haven't seen them yet. Just got them in yesterday, so that's going to be new. Got a great one as well. And then you have this one, just the logo, has an American flag on the back. It has, then we have all the baits out, all the um, shaky heads, wobble heads, spoons, chatter baits, <clears throat> and all this stuff you can find on my site if you want to go check it out for more details. Here with Jimbo, he actually has a guide service on Lanier. Anything you want to say? Yeah, I want to say that you should have said more about me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, my name's Jimbo. We're, uh, we're here at Grace Chapel Church. We're doing a seminar this morning. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things, spring fishing. Got a lot of great breakouts, phenomenal raffle prizes, but the star, the guest speaker of the day is Mr. Noah Pescatelli. Noah's going to talk about his career and path through high school fishing, and then he's going to talk about kind of what lays in the future for him. He's, he's going to talk about some of the things that he's done with social media uh, and everything that he's done to get himself known in the market. He is well known in the fishing industry. He's made quite an impact, uh, and so we've got some exciting things ahead today. We're really pumped up. Uh, appreciate you guys listening in. More to come. It's going to be a great day, folks. How you doing, man? What's your name? Brooks. Brooks? And Andy, this is his father, Andy. Andy Anderson. Hey, How you doing? Nice to meet you. Hey, congratulations, man. I appreciate it. Every, I mean, it was crazy. Well, when this lake, I think, West Point. West Point. Yeah. Where do you, you put it in at Highland? It's nice meeting you guys. You too, man. Thank you. Yeah, we'll catch you in the breakout session. Awesome. Man. Here are some Chattahoochee jigs here at the seminar. And um, for all you guys looking for them, come in all different colors. You can actually get them custom if you would like. And everything um, is going to be coming to my site soon where you guys can purchase them online. So definitely stay tuned for that. I didn't tell you this, but you know exactly where we were sitting? Yeah. I tied a GoPro on my line. I had it on braid. It was tough. But there was a fray in the braid. I didn't know I was going to cast it out. I cast that sucker out in this thing just, 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 just flew right off. Dude, it, I mean, honestly, look, you see the, the wall all the way back there where the projector is? Dude, that far. That thing just launched, and we're like, he's like, oh my god, you just cast the GoPro out there. Like, he thought it was still on the line. I'm like, yeah, I cast it out there. <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> Crazy. It's going to be interesting to see how all this works. I wanted her to see the, the big picture of Lanier, the life cycle of the fish, life cycle of all that yeah. stuff. We sit in front. That's awesome. Maybe one day he'll take you out, huh? <laughs> yeah, you got to be on kicking their bass TVs. Stand beside him so I can get a picture. Can I get a picture? You guys have probably heard about him. He's very popular uh, in the fishing world. Got a great Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. This kid has developed social media <laughs> platforms and look at this he's my bodyguard in his spare time you know he's uh, he's all pumped up when i can't uh, when i'm going into a dangerous area like you know if i'm going over to del campo's house or something i'm gonna take, I'm gonna take him with me because i know uh that he's gonna protect me all right let's do a couple of rapids there, Noah. Right. let's do your prize pack in fact why don't we start it's a number is it a number nothing yeah. on the back nothing okay back. number seven, seven. Go, go for it. Go, go. Seven, four, two, six, one, zero. Right there he is, winner, winner. Both the full prize winner. <coughs> Who wants Thank it? Thank you. Anybody? Remember, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. As I mentioned, I brought up Noah here. Noah is uh, someone that started with me, Steve, his dad. And his mom's here too, uh, uh, Patty. Steve and, and Noah started with me. Noah's taken that information and really developed it into an incredible platform, both for high school fishing, which he's done. He's now received uh, a full athletic scholarship to SCAD, which he'll start in the fall. Uh, anyway, he's had a lot of success 
throughout high school fishing and success in promoting himself. He's got some incredible sponsors. I'm sure he'll tell you more about that as we get into the breakout sessions. He will be one of your breakout speakers. Um, you came a long way, early age. Congratulations. Thank you. What are a couple of the core principles do you think that, that have really meant the difference for you? Well, the biggest process? thing is not only in fishing, but just in life in general, it's just you got to have a drive for it. You got to be focused on what you're doing. You have to push. You know, you got to be committed to it. But I just found out, I mean, fishing, I played baseball, I played all sports, and fishing was just the one that really clicked. You know, it was something that I really loved, I was focused in, and I was full out for it, you know. And yeah. That, that's pretty much the biggest thing is you got to stay focused with whatever you're doing. And I kind of spread that through my social marketing. So I'm going out to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I kind of built a name for myself, a brand, um, Kicking Their Bass, which is kind of describing me. It's pretty much my own brand. I'm um, branding myself, though. Um, and so it just really blew up, and I just kept pushing towards it because everything that you do, you're going to have to work um, and step your way towards it. It's not just going to jump up and become big. So I just kept on working towards it, and it's just really blown up. And That's awesome, man. Awesome. It is impressive. If you guys haven't checked out his social media platforms, they're, uh, they're indeed very impressive. Um, what do you think some of your keys are? Now, this is specific not to your journey, but to high school fishing. Uh, what has made you successful in some of those tournaments? Because you've had some great tournament fishings, uh, finishes, won some tournaments. What is there one thing, and I know you're going to talk more about your breakouts, is there one thing you can put your hand on that said, hey, this is this is what I did to prepare that, that made it made a difference? Well, it's just time on the water, one thing. Definitely yeah. time on the water you need to practice. Um, also confidence. Yeah. Confidence is really, really great key to it. Got to be confident in what you're doing. Um, but that's pretty much the main key that progressed me through it is um, just practice, practice, practice. Um, kept on learning more things. Like, I mean, I went out with you, learned a lot from that. Yeah. And um, that helped me out as well. But just learning a lot. And oh, he said he went, went through. Jimbo and learned a lot from it. I love him. <laughs> All right. Uh, last question, and then we're going to get to Patrick. All right. Um, I think you're the first to acknowledge you didn't get here on your own. You mentioned, obviously, I, I got to help and I was honored to be involved in that process. Obviously, your dad's been a huge supporter of your family. Your mom, everybody's been a huge supporter. What advice do you have for the fathers and the mentors that are out here with their children that might be kind of where you and your dad were a few years ago? What advice do you have for them? What would you tell them? Well, first, I'm really thankful for my parents, my family, my fans, and um, friends, of course, you, Perry, everyone who supports me. Yeah. Um, I couldn't really do it without them, and especially my sponsors. I mean, they really helped me out a lot mm -hmm. um, just through my journey. But definitely, um, my dad, I mean, he's allergic to fish. He can't touch fish for people that don't know me. He can't touch them. People comment on the videos, they're like, is he scared of fish? I'm like, no, he can't touch them. He's running away when I sling him in the boat and everything. And Jimbo, when you found that out, I mean, you were like, you are amazed. You are like, wow, he's allergic to fish. But um, <laughs> the father's out there. I can't touch it. Get off the hook. Get off the hook. <laughs> but no, for fa father's out there, um, I know somebody came up to us earlier, and the kid's dad didn't even fish. I mean, that's awesome. Um, as a parent to really walk through and follow me through my journey. And that's just I like to say. Awesome, man. Great stuff. Well, again, Noah's going to be one of the breakout speakers. We're going to have Patrick up here. I'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. I know it might have not been the most interesting video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And um, I just wanted to post it because I know you guys like to see my daily life and everything. But Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave some comments below on what you guys want to see. I'll catch you guys in the next video.